Today's a pretty exciting day. We're on a little adventure here. That woman right over there, Carrie, she's running the LA Marathon next month. She's running to raise funds for a charity. So we're on our way to a place called Marley's Mutts, which is a dog rescue. And they do some really, really cool stuff. And thanks to support from Canon, we're donating $1,000 to Marley's Mutts. And hopefully we could raise some more, depending on how good you guys are opening up that wallet. So yeah, this video is sponsored by Canon, at least the first few minutes of it, but I'll go over that in a minute. Wait a second though, does that mean I'm sponsored by Canon and can only say nice things about Canon? Absolutely, they gave me that check, I said give it to me, tell me what to say. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And of course, as always, there is gonna be a giveaway, but there's a little legal disclaimer that Canon's making me put down here. No idea why it needs to be there, but yeah, some lawyer was like, put it in there. So there it is. So we got Sam on the EOS R over there. And then I got my own right here, so we're gonna go and get some awesome footage today. But first, snow angels. Oh, it's not even soft. <laughs> Why did I pick the one hard spot? Is it beautiful? It's something. Let's go to the studio real quick so I can tell you guys a little bit about the partnership I got with Canon for this video, and then we'll come back and play with some dogs. And there's a lot of writing in these pages, so I don't know what I'm allowed to show or not, so just gonna blur it out. Boom. Now, before I became a YouTuber myself, I've always been kind of confused about how the whole sponsorship thing works. And the truth is there's a million different types of sponsorships. This is my first time being sponsored by Canon and the sponsorship lasts approximately one minute and 30 seconds in length. Should include examples of how they use the camera to save their favorite memories. Hmm, my favorite memories. Faster, faster. Dang, these pictures are sharp. It's like this camera has a 30.3 megapixel sensor. It's cause it does. Do you wink? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot this entire video using Canon cameras and lenses. Well, that's gonna be tough. What other Canon cameras could I possibly use to film this segment? Make sure everything's Canon. Careback Plus offers protection from accidental damage, drop spills, power surges, and more, including normal wear and tear beyond the standard warranty period. Now I've already talked about the EOS R a whole bunch, but what's new to me is this 24 to 105 lens. It's my first RF lens. Now there's image stabilization built into the lens and it's actually pretty good. I got a whole bunch of footage just zoomed all the way into 105 and just handheld without a stabilizer and it came out looking pretty dang smooth. And I know for a fact my hands are not stable enough to do that on my own. So there needs to be a verbal disclosure repeated every five minutes. This is an ad for Canon. I'm just gonna be safe and just titled this video sponsored by Canon. But then I might put a question mark at the end just to make it a little bit clickbaity. Now this is the first L series lens to have nano USM. What does that mean exactly? There's lenses like this 50 millimeter F1.2, which is a phenomenal L series lens. And L series has like the best glass. It's usually weather sealed. It's super fast, perfect for photographers. You just do, 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 do. You can catch focus like that. The downside of it is that it's fast. So you can see it jumping, especially for video. Fast autofocus might be a little jarring. And then there's STM, which we've seen in a whole bunch of lower end lenses. And these aren't quite as fast. They're still fast, but not quite as fast for that pro level photography, but they tend to be a little bit smoother for video focusing. So Nano USM is awesome because it's super fast. It's fast enough for any photography needs, but also very, very smooth and controllable for video. And of course it comes with dual pixel autofocus, which I've said many times in my unsponsored videos, but again, I still stand by it. Best autofocus out there. In a crop mode, you get 4K at 30 frames per second at a really good bit rate, by the way, as well as C-Log, so professional settings. If that's not enough for you, you can output 10 bit out of the HDMI. And also until March 30th, there's a special going on for this combo, 200 bucks off and a free EF lens mount adapter. Do not showcase nudity or violence. Maybe I should have put pants on. Well, you can't see, so we're good. Touchscreen LED, improved durability, dust and water resistant. If you guys have seen my previous videos, yes, I can attest to the fact that they're pretty durable. <laughs> Yeah! Thanks, Canon, for sponsoring this video. Now, onto the rest of the video. Also, Peta says thanks for saving all her brothers and sisters. Are you licking the camera? <laughs> Let's see if we can get them to play tug with each other. Okay, here we go. Got her. Okay. Go. Now, tug. Tug with each other. 
Oh my God, they just ripped it apart. Mom's gonna be so pissed, she just bought this. And what's really awesome about Marley's Mutts and the reason why we're so excited to donate to them for this video is that they're a lot more than just a regular rescue. They do a whole bunch of really cool stuff. For example, the Positive Change Program. You can look up their Instagram to see more in depth like all the awesome stuff they do. They get dogs that are basically on death row and they bring them into maximum security prisons and the dogs and the inmates help each other out. The dogs get some good training and the inmates have this new valuable skill and this very positive thing to focus all their energy on. So I think it's really beautiful that you take like both sides of like extreme hopelessness, you know, death row dogs, maximum security prisoners, and you bring them together to just make this kind of beautiful relationship. And that sound kind of corny? I'm just gonna have the owner of the rescue explain it to you. He's better than I am. That's, That's funny. <laughs> Come give me some hugs. Who knew the best kind of hugs were uh were no armed hugs, you know? I love you, you're so special. My name is Zach Scows. I founded Marley's Mutts uh, nine and a half years ago. Yeah, so uh, coming out of liver failure, this was all kind of a beautiful accident. I got my little therapist right right here. She's my she's my motivation, she's my therapy, she's, my, uh, she's a lot of things that I need that have helped me get through this. We've been kind of banging on the door of various institutions for the last seven years. It wasn't until three years ago that we got approved to um, launch our pilot program at Cal City Correctional Facility. We take dogs basically directly from the shelter or from foster and bring them into maximum security prisons all over the state of California to live and rehabilitate. They help one another, it's reciprocal, right? The dogs live there for three months and they're working towards their canine good citizen certification. And in the process, the men learn to work outside of their race, to work with one another, to express their emotions honestly. You know, our average inmate has about a 13 year sentence. So um, when you've done that much time in prison, you usually exit, you know, more broken than you are when you came in. We, we try to, to reconnect them with themselves using the dogs, you know? And these dogs are like just benevolent mechanisms for good. They really help teach people how to um, how to overcome, how to think about something other than themselves, how to get plugged into to something altruistic. You know, it really feels good to be of service to something that can't serve itself. And that gives you um, self-esteem and it gives you confidence. And that's what these guys need. How did about 10 guys get released from prison? And um, I'd say six or seven are involved in the pet services industry, you know, several of which are, are professional dog trainers and successful professional dog trainers. So it's quite, it's quite a thing to observe and to be a part of. It, it blows my mind, to be honest. Once we launched at Cal City and they saw how productive we were and they saw how unique and, and kind of uh, rewarding our program was, we were able to spread it to other institutions and, and we're just continually expanding. We started our juvenile program yesterday, which is the first of its kind in America. First of its kind girls, juvenile, live-in dog program where dogs live at a you know, high security girls juvenile facility for repeat offender girls. And girls are the least advocated for group on planet earth, really, juvenile offender girls. So we aim to uh, to change that and give them some love and some light and some support. So all four of these doggies are all rescues. For example, Chicken Little here, Carrie found her just wandering the streets and she was super skinny to the point where you could see her ribs and she was like terrified of everybody and everything. When I first met her, and Sam was actually there too, we were doing a camping trip and she wouldn't even come near me. But now she's just like the best cuddler ever, huh? A lot of you guys ask about Lefty over here and how come she only has one leg up front. She broke her leg and her previous owners couldn't take care of her so they had to put her up for adoption the shelter did the amputation up here and Carrie adopted her basically just after the surgery and she's been such a good girl ever since one thing that we really like to specialize here at the ranch is taking on special needs dogs um, so that means special needs whether they're behavioral or medical um, we'll take on behavior cases that we need to work with and I'll work with them and then work with the new adopters and do training sessions with them you've ever heard of Freddie Mercury she's a, a deformed dog so we like to take on on, you know, special cases that other people may not have the resources to be able to help. Thanks Marley's Mutts for having us out there. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys want to contribute and donate. For all of you that contribute, thank you, you guys rock. And even if you can't, as long as you're watching this video, you're still contributing a little bit because at the end of this month, I'm gonna take all the ad sense that this video makes and donate it as well. Anyways, look at this hot mess. Like, what? what why are you guys all there? That looks so uncomfortable. Stop eating that. She keeps munching on leaves and stuff, but she keeps throwing it up. I always like dogs, but it isn't until I met Carrie like a year ago, and then now I'm living with all these dogs, and I'm honestly super happy, and I'm a very proud pother. Get it? Pother? Because <laughs> paw and... Sorry.
Anyways, let's head to the studio and let's talk about this giveaway real quick. All right, so on today's giveaway menu is this Canon 80D, and I gotta be honest, this is probably the hardest giveaway I've done, primarily for sentimental reasons, but again, for legal disclosure, Canon is not associated with the giveaway or the donation. And the reason why it's so hard for me to give up this 80D is because it really represents a point in my life where I have like 20 subscribers, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this YouTube thing a real shot. So I did a whole bunch of research and then went to the camera store that day. I picked it up and basically was like, all right, we're doing this. And right now I'm shooting this on the Canon EOS R and naturally it's just sharper and better just across the board. So I am gonna officially make the switch to this camera being an EOS R. But literally just till a few videos ago, this was my desk camera. And my mind is literally still blown that this channel has come so far thanks to you guys. And I still remember the day when I went and just picked this thing up and was like, don't know if this YouTube thing's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it out. And the reason why I went with the 80D at that time was that I've been using Canon cameras from way before that even. My first camera was a T2i and that's the camera I used to land my first decent jobs. And then I upgraded to the 60D because it had good autofocus and then eventually I started getting more commercial jobs. Got the C100 Mark II and used that for a whole bunch of jobs and eventually upgraded to the C300 Mark II where I did a ton of video work. So I was already kind of familiar with the Canon system and all those cameras I just mentioned, I paid full price price for. I didn't even get a discount. They've always been super reliable to me and I've actually never had any issues with any of the Canon cameras. And the only one that broke on me was because I had it in my pocket when I crashed the paraglider. So yeah, the camera was in my pocket. I landed and I fell right on my pocket. Paraglider was still open and it just like dragged me like 30 feet across gravel. Uh, yeah, I got pretty jacked up. <laughs> and the thing is I'm kind of sentimental so I kind of want to hold on to it but I'm also not the type to hold on the stuff that I know I'm not going to use. A lot of people out there that love to collect cool things and that's awesome, but that's just not me. If it's something that I'm not constantly using or getting enjoyment out of constantly, I'm the first one to list it for sale. But this ADD managed to survive all my fire sales of trying to pay off credit card debt. So whoever wins this giveaway, I hope this camera brings you just as much luck as it did for me. I'm going to sign it though, because I definitely don't want it to go to someone who's just going to resell it. I want it to go to someone like me like two years ago where you kind of have this distant dream and not sure if you could achieve it, but only way to find out is to go and try. And basically this in a computer is everything you need to get started from the ground up. So here we go. Yeah, check that out. In order to win, you gotta do three things. One, go pet a dog. Two, go tell a family member you love them. And three, leave a comment down below. And uh, good luck to you guys. Oh, 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 or girls, by the way. Girls can win too. I don't think any girls have actually won anything on this channel yet. And that's definitely not on purpose. It's just that 94% of my viewers are male and we randomly select the winners. So it's just statistics. But yeah, guys and girls, totally welcome to join this giveaway.